How did you get started with music and how did you develop your sound? Who thought of the name Arctic Dreams and is there any meaning behind it? Alex is author of all music and the idea and we are original members since 2009 and just finished our first uh, big recording and I can't believe it. I'm a great fan of uh, dark electro, dark wave music and uh, classical music also and uh, in one time I decided to mix uh, these all styles in our music. Arctic Dreams means the cold, severity and immensity. What do you want people to take away from your music? I think if somebody come up with a solution of Riemann hypothesis after listening to our music, I will be glad. Uh, cancer treatment also counts. We will be very glad if our music will help our listeners in a difficult life situation and also in their uh, joyful situations. How would you describe your sound to the average listener? Titties and beer. Uh, just kidding, no drugs and alcohol for me. I think the sound of the band combines kind of black metal mixed with electronic music. The root and elegant reason to think about vital and eternal. Who are three bands you'd like to tour with? Uh, let it be Ronald Brunner Jr., Devin Townsend and Jakub Arlinski. Your bands? <laughs> Uh, I wanted to play with Metallica, Rammstein and Cradle of It. I don't know other bands, maybe Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> How has COVID affected what you do? If we're talking about uh, Arctic Dreams, it didn't affect us. Uh, well, somebody died, uh, somebody is fired, the business is ruined. So, nothing to lose, but dedicates all aspiration to music. Of course, the COVID pandemic has affected every sphere of life. Uh, everyone in every part of the world, but we are still here and we are still going on. What's your take on the current state of metal? Guitar music in general and metal in particular is not what it used to be in 70s, 80s and 90s. It's not mainstream, it uh, doesn't surprise anyone, uh, but it has taken its stable part in pop culture alongside with big artists, uh, with other genres like blues, pop rock, funk, I don't know. Metallica make feats with Miley Cyrus. So, it doesn't scare your grandparents anymore, uh, but uh, it is comfortable being completely devoured by capitalistic no-bro culture. I see there are too many metal bands in the world, and I see them keep appearing on the metal stage, even from different countries. What's the current music scene like locally there in Russia? We have a lot of talented musicians and bands in different genres. Okay, and talking globally, I think Russia is no exception from being a heritage of European culture in its roots and global pop culture in its presence. And musicians are just the same everywhere. We can discuss uh, sizes of markets, uh, but uh, I don't think national flavors influence anybody uh, globally. And uh, uh, they are exceptional and extraordinary for Russian listeners as well as for foreigners. What's your take on the royalties that streaming services pay out to artists? 
No reasons to complain. They don't withdraw our money, because there's none yet. And this is, would be a great way for making extra money for musicians and artists. What's next for Arctic Dreams? Making new music, I think. I'd like to add some new music to that. Haven't the plan to write new music first? Objection first, new music first. Be a lot to discuss. Any shout out? Keep listening to music and stay true. Let's study molecular biology! Let me introduce my cosmic hell. <laughs>